Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to episode 23 of my All The Mods 10 playthrough. Crazy to think that we're already this far into it, but we basically have infinite resources at this point. And so in this episode, I want to focus a lot on building convenience things, specifically two items. Number one, the network adapter for the AE2 system to allow our wireless crafting terminal to work. And number two, I think AE2 has some sort of player charging that can charge all of the items on your player like your jetpack or your wireless crafting terminal. And that would be incredibly convenient if we could build. So I think we're gonna try to focus on those two things for this episode. The plans may change, but I hope you guys enjoy it. Get something to eat, something to drink, and let's get to it. All right, so first of all, let's look up AE2. And I believe we're looking for the wireless access point, which I need this to make. It should be pretty easy. Now, I think inside of here, there also has to be some additional items. Link wireless terminals here. Wireless boosters. Uh, if I remember correctly, Wireless boosters. There's some sort of a card that goes inside of there that makes it where it uh, it can go wherever. Those are the wireless boosters. That's fine. Let's see if we if we search for wireless, what comes up? Wireless. That's the wireless access point. That's what we need. We need the infinity range booster. I don't want to encode it. I want to actually make it. Uh, range. But I want the dimensional card. Yes, that's what we need. So we need four of these. How many... For, so I need two for each one of these. I need four, so I need uh, eight total. And I made three. All right, iron nuggets again. So I think I made three. So I should have all eight now. We'll make an extra just in case. Uh, I need these. How do I make aluminum? I need some tin dust and some silver dust. Yeah, that right there. And then I should be able to make the Lumium ingots. And then... 11? I think I just need one per... Yeah. Need four. Okay, so now I need wireless booster. Ender pearl dust. Which is just gonna be a hammer. And some ender pearls. Which luckily we have. That no. Not that. How do I make the Ender dust, then. Uh, what were we looking at? The booster. These guys. This. So it needs to go through the crusher. That's fine. We can make that happen. Uh, where's that at? Right here. We'll let that run for a little bit. We have some. Um. Booster. That's what we're making. I need four of these, which means I need four times three, 12 wireless boosters, which means I need 12 ender pearl dust. I had three before this. Perfect. Throw that in there. Oh, it makes double. Never mind. Oh, I still didn't have enough iron for it, anyways. That's fine. 
So we've got those. Next, I make one, two, three, four. Dump them back in there. And then we're looking for the dimensional card. How do I not have an eye of ender? Perfect. So now we have the dimensional card and I should be able to just drop that right into there, link it. And then yeah, I've got access to everything from here. Sweet. So by number of items, descending, excellent. I can now access everything in my ME system anywhere, in any dimension, at any time. Awesome. I wanna run back to the mining dimension real quick and see how quickly those things are charging everything and if we need to add any extra stuff to the chest in here. Yeah, because we're completely out of coal. But it looks like we're pretty full. What are we at? Order trillion? 252 billion? That's insane. You guys must be putting in the work. Right, let's go grab some coal blocks and bring them back real quick. Probably just craft as many as I can. Let it craft through all of that. See where it gets me. Get up to 1300 coal blocks and then we'll move all of that into our inventory and then we'll take it all to the mining dimension. What's crazy is I could have done all of this from my inventory. I'm just so not used to having it that I didn't even think about it. Perfect. Everything's full. Could use some more urinite. It's, it's running through that pretty quick and that's going to be the one thing that runs out pretty quickly. Everything else stays pretty stable. I'm gonna get an inventory full of it and then we're gonna tell it to craft it and we're gonna have it craft like 35,000. Take it back. We're gonna have it craft 15,000. And I should do this. Cause I can just put it straight in my backpack. Honestly, we could just fill up my inventory once I'm there. Yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, because like the coal and the redstone and the ice really shouldn't go down very quickly at all. But the urinite's going to be used quite a bit, especially while this thing's still filling up, which will be for a while. I mean, kind of makes me want to just throw on another layer. <laughs> These guys were not hard to make. Probably try to fill most of this chest up with urinite as much as I can. This is the only thing I really need it for. And it cleans out our ME system a little bit. Gotta love that. Okay, so let's tell this thing. This is gonna be so cool because I'm gonna be able to craft just from here. Um, I want... Reactor casings. I want 360 of these. Tell it to start. All right, let's pick a block. We'll just do cobble. Right here. Up to. Go to this side. Here. Really should have done it all the way across. Oh, that was one too far. Meh. Close enough. All right. There's all of that. Uh, 
Uh, I guess I didn't really need to pull all those out. Little auto refills in my inventory. are hooked up and plumbed in. Get auto mode on each of these. Awesome. So now I need 10 buckets of water. Should now have Perfect. Okay. So I suppose, I mean, I want to wait, get the item pipes all the way up until they're ready. I just grab 10 of each item, 10 stacks, get it started up. Seems like a fairly reasonable thing to do. So we're looking to Go ahead and put the coal in each. Then goes the redstone and the ice. And then finally the urinite. Okay. All that's full now. We need some item pipes. Surely 64 is enough. And then I will need that wrench as well. So we are somewhere in here. Up the top. All the way to there. All right, so that should, yep, keep everything nice and full. So the question becomes, at what point does it stop? Like. Where, where do we stop this madness? How, how much per tick are these given off? We're generating 216,000 FE per tick. So 216 times 30 of them now. So we're generating about 6.4 million FE per tick, uh, which is insane. I mean, I don't know, what do y'all say? We think we make it an even 50? Oh, we do have a block that's sticking out into another chunk. We could shoot for an even 50, and then at some point in time, we also could take all the windmills down and just go full on industrialization mode and build a whole nother set of these generators or reactors on the other side. Fuel the power of industrialization. Ooh, and they're 93% accurate, or at least that first one is. I know it's been going for longer. We're at 90. We're up to at least 90% accurate, so. Nine out of every 10 times at least, we're gonna be getting a nether star from it, which means we should have a lot more of these. Yes, yeah, so we're down to the fifth. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. And the rest of these are all full running constant. Beautiful. So here's the problem. At this point, I don't wanna to have to make glass anymore. With the essences I have, I could teach it how to make sand, how to turn that sand into glass, and then how to make the prediction matrixes where I wouldn't have to do this whole manual process thing here. I guess, I guess we could test it out. I think all I have to do is get one of these. You have to get a pattern provider. Pattern provider. I've got three. Ah, uh, it could be so easy. How many lanes? That's got so many lanes left. So let's grab ME table. We're going to swing it around real quick. Okay, well, I didn't mean to do that. Break it there. Here. Run it along the back. Then we get to right here. Over one. 
Actually, no, it has to keep going along the back. Because it needs to plug in to those. And those, I need to put in... I don't know what an induction card is, but... Let's... We're looking at a... Processing pattern. We need sand. And we get back glass. It says I can make glass now. Oh my goodness, it works. Does it pull it out? I can't tell if it's pulling it out or not. I don't think it is. It's definitely putting it in. Okay, that's great. Then do I need to have a side of it free? So that I can just pull it out as well? Or is it just not pulling it out quickly? All right, so all I really need to do is swing power to the bottom and then have a second channel being used there. That's also going to uh, pull in the items from the furnace. So we take our ultimate universal cables there and then hover back over and then do three and then I need three ME import buses. Perfect. And then also some acceleration cards. So, slap it on. Gonna be a couple, sh one short on acceleration cards and I just don't care. Okay, so now, um, do I have to tell it what to pull in? I hope not. Uh, let's see, let's try sand again. Still not pulling, why is it not importing? It is attached, it is hooked up, it is plugged in. This whole thing should take six. Yeah, we've got plenty. Why, why would it not pull out? Open config, oh, okay, so. Top is input, yes. Bottom is fuel. Front, left, back, output. Beautiful. Now it's just making the glass. Oh. Oh, it's it's wonderful. It's wonderful. So now, anything that we need for furnaces, we can just make the crafting template and it'll just work. It'll just function correctly. That's great. So now... Theoretically, I, I need to make uh, this and put it in there somewhere. And I should have everything I need to auto craft as many of those prediction matrices as I want. If I want to do like 20k. But I think I already had the glass for that anyways. But still. So, I mean, screw it, right? Try again, do 100k. Yeah. Okay, that's working perfectly. It's actually making the glass and everything it needs for it. Ah. It's beautiful. This chest currently has 19.3. But it will have a lot more. We're almost up to 95% here too. We're still on five. Here yeah, we're still on five. 
So I probably should get some magic soil going and then also get the unobtainium rolling. I definitely don't have that yet. Apparently it's just these two grow and the third one's not growing at all. I mean, I suppose there's no time like the present. I will need ender crystals and crystals. Same thing. That's used all of my glass. Well then here, let's just do this. I'm being lazy. I'm not even going to go down there. I'm going to throw it in. Come here, tell it to make me four in crystals. Oh, it doesn't know how to make eyes vendor. So, let me to teach you. All right, how about now? Perfect. All right, now we go fight the ender dragon. Turn off the hover. We didn't mean to do that. Did we get any of the stuff? Oh, eight dragon scales. Wait, uh, let's go back real quick because I want to see if there was XP or anything that I missed because there probably was. Shame on me for trying to put out fires. We got eight dragon scales now, which means we could dragon some dragon seeds that you can make with four of them, and then you get Dragon Essence. What can you do with Dragon Essence? Head, egg. That's it, okay. So, I mean, I guess we make one of the Dragon Egg Seeds and then a Magic Soil. Two more things we needed. I don't think there's a Dragon Egg Crux, I don't think. I hope not, at least. It would be kind of annoying if there was. There, there is. Figure out how to make that. In the meantime, magic soil, prudentium growth accelerators, growth accelerators, and then take this guy all the way to the bottom, place him down. And we'll put one more down at the bottom. Perfect. So now we should be getting unobtainium. And we are. Perfect. Okay, so I need the dragon egg crux. Dragon. Oh, we got another one of these too. Oh, that's a data model. Wait, did we get another one of those though? We sure did. Means I... Bring it over here. There at that block. Place it down. Look at that. That looks sick. Alright, anyways, what we were doing, we're looking for the dragon egg crux. I need more dragon scales for that. Great. Great. Oh. It's... How's this chest look? No way. <laughs> Got 138k in there. Oh, and what's great about that is all of those are basically going to have an almost 100% chance of becoming another star. Yeah. So, yeah, we're, man, we're, we're chugging right along. All right, we're gonna call it there for this episode. We were able to accomplish quite a lot as far as getting some of the further in-game AE2 stuff set up. We got a couple seeds set up. We got some more nitro crystals going. We got some more power going. We just did a lot of work today. Uh, in addition to the fact that we now have a interdimensional crafting terminal that we can connect to our ME system from literally anywhere. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys again so much for watching for all the love and support. Don't forget, you're special. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.